hi guys welcome back to yet another video um it's good to, to have you guys here if you did not subscribe yet i think this is the right time to do so because very very hot content is about to drop very soon um this morning i woke up to the shock of my life guys Yo. Hmm. I had to walk to the shop to get No! The oh no! No, not that, not that. Um, when I came out of the room, I started to I put on the TV, I switched on the TV, and then I realized I don't have my glasses on. So I went to look for my glasses, and that's what I found. This is what I found. It wasn't me, but my little sister. Don't blame me. It's always me. Luckily, Thursday. I went to the what is it? <laughs> so my new classes are coming soon. Luckily. Probably like tomorrow. Rain? Is it you who broke my glasses? No. And me. Who broke my glasses? Who bro who did it? I'm mommy. Who is it? I'm doing up it. God's hurt. <laughs> before welcome guys welcome back for the new people my name is bernie and this is the rmb family show um basically this channel will take a lot of things huh? from my training exercise to me cooking to the family being crazy and also we will have some educational sit downs like what we are doing now this will be our first educational sit down video um Basically, so today we're going to speak about vocational training in Namibia. What is vocational training? It is also known as TVET, Technical Vocational Educational Training in Namibia. What does this entail? Okay, so basically, this entails our joinery makers, our automotive guys, our electricians, our um, cabinet makers, our boiler makers, our welders, our um what else is there but very important people guys these guys are basically they are the builders of this nation without them you cannot even have a house to live in you cannot even have a tear the road you cannot even have a proper gate you cannot even have you know it's it's very very important electricity for example is one of the most most important things that we can have as a country and as in namibia we can really be proud to say that really um <clears throat> that industry is really doing well but how are they perceived how are they perceived how is the vocational school perceived in Namibia that is what we're going to talk about today so vocational school is seen as something that we send our kids there the ones that cannot perform in school and then they can go and maybe Try something. That is the word they use. They can go try something there at the vocational center. Maybe they can go to uh, WVGC and try something with their hands. Those are the words that our parents are using when they're sending kids to vocational training. And it should not be like that because vocational training is not about just sending a child and she must go, he or she must go try something. No. Vocational school is, guys, it is very, very important. In vocational school, is not for school dropouts, it's not for the dumb ones, it's not for the ones that must go and try something. So just like of any other, just like of any other, guys, let me quickly just put down the volume on the TV. So yeah, just like, just as I was saying before, just like any other education, vocational school is also education. You cannot just send somebody and say, go try something. Before you send someone, let the someone first decide do they want to go and do this plumbing 
Do they want to do welding? Do they want to do electrical? Do they want to do auto mechatronics? Find out from this someone that you are deciding for that he or she must just go to vocational school because they are failing in the mainstream schools. Guys, let me tell you today, vocational education is very difficult. Vocational education, and let's focus on the word education. Education remains education, whether it is mainstream, whether it is academics, whether it is technical. It is still education. And unfortunately, if you are feeling that I must just send my child to go do something, your child will fail again because it's difficult and it's education. Let's say, for example, electrical. If you want your child to study electrical, electrical your child must be good in math you must be good in engineering science they must also know technical drawing so it's not just a thing of vocational school go there start the wiring no you cannot just start wiring you need to calculate for example i'm building this house or this house has been built what is the voltage or what is the the amount of electricity that this house will need. So the person that is called in, the electrician, must be able to do those calculations for them to be able to come out with the right thing. So that when people move in, just to a moment you put on your stove and your, and your fridge and your TV at the same time, now the things are switching off. No, it should not be like that. It should not be like that. Our welders. The ones that we were saying, go study welding, Achi. Net can use for us hacker can answer. I know, guys, it's not about just hacker answer. The hack mood can stand. Therefore, this gate needs precision, correct measurements. It cannot be like this. This gate needs to be able to stand. It cannot fall on your child just after the welder left your, your house. So, for welders, once again, engineering drawing. Engineering science, sorry, technical drawing, very important subjects that they need to know. It's not just Han Swiss, ah uh ah, -uh. Han Swiss what? <laughs> it's not just stat, no. Guys, we need to take technical, vocational education and training very, very serious. Before you send your child for TVET, think know that this child will need math they will need engineering science they will need technical drawing they will need english they will need hm they will need entrepreneurship those are subjects that they will also need to do it is school they don't just go and start let's let's talk about cabinet makers join us our join us our cabinet makers guys these carpets you see in your house they need to be of the same size the table must be able to stand. The bed must be able to stand. We cannot just send people to just go and cut timber. Which timber are you cutting to do what of it? What size? You need to have a cutting list. So for you to have this cutting list, you must be able to design something. So first of all, you need technical drawing once again. Because you need to design. What am I cutting? What am I making? So first you must design with the drawing skills that you got from the school. Then you design what you want to make. And from that design, you will now know, okay, the legs of this bed must be this long. So I need to cut it this long, this thick. You cannot just start cutting. What are you cutting that you don't know how it will look like? First, you need to have a drawing that shows you this will be my end product. And according to the drawing, you start cutting. So guys, please, my parents, my learners, the grade 12s, the grade 11s, the AS people, whoever wants to start a TVET, think again. Know that it's not just you're going to cut. Mm -mm. You're not just going to cut and make things you don't know. First, you need to design that thing. And then secondly, you must show the measurements of this thing. This one, from this angle to this angle, it must be this long. So therefore, I need to cut it like this before I can put them together. Prostitution is something that is very important in technical, in TVET. You cannot, you cannot, guys, at least have that one skill. At least have that thing of precision. Like for me, when me, I know myself. And those who know me knows that I cannot even draw a straight line. 
So therefore, unfortunately, I, I, I can I can never be uh, um, let's say <laughs> I can never be a let's say a uh, government maker. Never, guys, my cupboards will be falling like this. So know yourself. What are you good at? Sometimes you just like me, as I said now, I cannot even draw a straight line. So no, I don't have that thing, that accuracy. I don't have it. So no, I can't. So please, Namibians, I'm encouraging you to start looking at TVET with a different eye. Stop looking at it like, ah, you can drape my sword, you respond at some vocational education to Han. Ah, ah, you will fail also there if you don't put in what you need to put in. So please, guys, I'm encouraging you to do proper research before you apply for these things that you want to study. Otherwise. You will be there and you don't know what you're doing there and at the end of the day, you don't like it because this is not what I signed up for. I just came here to compile things and here these people want to give me school again. First of all, get it in your head that TVET is school. It is education. So basically, guys, the only thing that I'm trying to say is that NTA, which is the Nambian Training Authority, they are the ones responsible for training for providing training skills in Namibia to the people that are interested in training I should create enough awareness let those who want to train inform them about things that they need to know before they enroll for this training because what I've seen is that most of the time people enroll themselves for vocational training and then they find out that it is not what they thought it what they thought it was and then they end up being dropouts they end up not completing and then vocational training is seen in a way that it should not be seen just because of a uh, lack of information so if nta does better i think you know provide information to schools career fairs and things like that then I think really um, this miscommunication that is happening will come to an end and then people will make better informed decisions that yes, I want to go into this route of vocational or no, it is not something that I'm up to. So yeah, thank you guys. If you've come until this part, thank you for watching. I hope... Um, if you did not subscribe yet, you subscribe and then I hope to see you in our next uh, video that will be soon. It was good sharing this information with you and it's really something that has been, it's, it's something that is really coming from a vocational background. Like I worked at a vocational school before and I've seen the struggles that the trainees are facing. So really I just feel like they need to be informed before they go into this route, into this career that they want to, you know, tackle. Bye-bye. See you guys on the next one. Anyways, my hair is out. Bye-bye, <laughs> guys. See you again.